Hi, welcome to the Potter's Roundtable. This is Pottery Shorts, a series of short pottery topics done on the fly. Welcome to the Potter's Roundtable, a monthly podcast where we share our passion for the ceramic arts and a collection of topics specific to potters. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Enjoy the show. Hi, this is Pottery Shorts. I'm Phil Bernberg, and this, this is just a really quick tip for improving glaze application, but I think it's a really important tip, something that'll be very useful. As you may or may not be aware, bone dry and bisque clay often contains or has a coating of loose dust on the surface. And this is a bisque, bisque uh, white earthenware pot. And that, you probably can't see it, but if I wipe my hand on the inside, there's a coating of dust that shows up on my fingers, white dust. And this is especially true, this, this coating of dust on the surface with porcelain. Well, if a glaze is applied over the dust, the adhesion of the dried glaze to the clay is actually weakened by having that layer of dust there. And the main problem that this can cause is it can lead to crawling. Crawling has a lot of ca potential causes or contributing factors, but one of the main ones is is dust or something that weakens the bond of the dried clay, of the dried glaze, sorry, the dried glaze to the pot. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And consider becoming a patron of our channel. Visit www.patreon.com and search for the Potter's Roundtable. Any amount you give will support the creation of a digital library of educational videos and podcasts to support artists, potters, and educators now and into the future. If you would like more information about our membership studio, classes, events, and multimedia productions at Washington Street Studios, visit our website at www.hfclay.com. So it's always a good idea to wipe all the surfaces. I've got a damp sponge here. And I usually, t I usually use a small sponge about like this to wipe all the surfaces of the pot with a damp sponge before I do any glazing. And if there's a lot of, of dust on the surface, you wanna rinse out the sponge fairly frequently because you're not trying to smear the, the dust all over the surface, you're actually trying to remove it. And when you finish wiping the inside and the outside of the pot, the, the surface of the pot should feel different. It should feel a little sort of, you know, less dusty and a little more, like a little more easily, you know, more friction to it. And the idea is you're not, trying to, you're not trying to actually necessarily get the clay wet. The real purpose is just to get, wipe all the surfaces and get rid of all the dust. And this is especially true with, this is a pretty simple, a, a simple pot shape. But if you had something like a mug or something with appendages, it's important to wipe around, you know, on the inside of the handle and around the appendages to make sure you get the dust off. This, this has another advantage in addition to eliminating the dust, is that water likes to stick to water. So when the, when the wet glaze is actually applied to the dampened pot, the glaze actually sticks more easily to the pot because the pot is also, the pot is wet. So again, it reduces the possibility of crawling. Anyway, I hope this is useful and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the presentation, please like it and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. This way we get more viewers of our, of our videos. Also check out our website, www.hfclay.com. We'd really like to thank our patrons for supporting our educational efforts such as these videos. And if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, go to patreon.com and look for the Potter's Roundtable. The Potter's Roundtable is brought to you by Washington Street Studios and our patrons. If you enjoy the show, please subscribe, give us a five-star review, and tell your friends. If you want to learn more about Washington Street Studios and shared studio memberships, please visit our website at www.hfclay.com. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time on the Potter's Roundtable.